Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, my name is Alex and today I'll be showing you how to install macOS onto your PC. This video is not a scam, it's actually possible. A PC that runs macOS is usually called a Hackintosh and it's not an uncommon thing nowadays, it's been done many many times by a lot of people. So to proceed with this tutorial, it's very important that you know exactly what components you've got in your computer, mainly the graphics card, motherboard and CPU. It's also required that you have an Intel CPU. It is possible to install macOS on AMD based systems but it's much trickier and this guide will only apply to Intel based computers. Now this guide will show you how to install macOS onto your computer removing any previous operating system that you had so if you want to have Windows and macOS I will soon upload another video where I show you how to dual boot Windows and macOS 10 but this video is just macOS. If you have Windows on one drive and you want to install macOS onto another drive you can still follow this guide but if you want to partition the same drive to have both Windows and macOS on it you will need to wait for the other video that I will be uploading very soon. So let's not waste any more time and start with the video. In order to proceed with the installation you will need a real Mac, a Hackintosh or a virtual machine, you may perhaps borrow a Mac from a friend and a USB flash drive of at least 16 gigabytes. Theoretically 8 gigs should be fine but I've had problems with 8 gig flash drives in the past so I would recommend at least 16. It's also important that you only use USB 2.0 ports on your computer throughout the whole installation. Even if your flash drive is USB 3.0 only use a USB 2.0 port. On the Mac, Hackintosh or virtual machine with Mac OS you need to ensure that the system language is set to English. That is because some of the programs we're going to use require the system to be set to English. So go to system preferences and change your language to English if it's not already so and reboot your computer. Now go to the link that I left in the description that, that leads you to the Tony Mac x86 website and look for Unibeast 7 and Multibeast 9. Now in order to download files from this website you will need to have an account so register if you already haven't done so. After downloading Unibeast 7 and Multibeast 9 put them on your desktop so they're ready to be used. Now double click on the zip files to extract them and once we've done so we can delete the zip files. Now we'll need to prepare our flash drive so plug it into your computer and we'll need to open up disk utility. To do so press command and space and type in disk utility then press enter. You can also find it in the applications folder and then in the utility folder. Once we've opened up disk utility locate your USB flash drive and click on the non indented part. The indented part is the partition which is not what we need. So click on the non indented part. Once you've done that at the top click on erase rename the flash drive to USB, change the format to macOS extended journaled and finally as partition map choose GUID partition map. Now click on erase and wait for the process to be finished. Once finished click on done and you can close disk utility. Now we'll need to download macOS so in order to do that go to the Mac App Store and look for macOS Sierra. Once you've found it just click download and wait for it to be downloaded. Once that's finished, we're ready to create our bootable USB drive. So let's open up Unibeast, click continue, continue and agree. And on this screen, you will need to select your USB flash drive that we named USB. Make sure that it's highlighted in blue, which means that it's been selected. Now click continue. Select Sierra, click continue. And now if you have a newer computer, you'll most likely have a UEFI BIOS. So select UEFI. If you have an older computer, which has a very, very simple and basic uh, BIOS, select legacy boot mode. If you have a very old graphics card from either ATI or Nvidia, you need to select one of these two options. It gives you some examples of graphics card that need the setting, so if your graphics card is not among the ones listed, you don't need to select anything. If you're using integrated graphics, same thing goes here, don't select anything. Click continue, continue, type in your password and click OK. Now the installation will start. This process can take a very long time. I remember when I did this for the first time, it took me an hour to get this done. So just wait patiently. Once finished, copy the Multibeast folder inside your USB flash drive. Now eject the flash drive and let's move on to the computer onto which we want to install macOS. Now boot the machine and go into the BIOS or UEFI. Make sure that you have disabled fast boot completely. Also, if you have any specific settings for Windows 8 or 10, disable them or select other OS.
Then you'll need to disable your serial ports because macOS does not support them. Finally, you'll need to disable VTD. Now we can save the settings and quit the BIOS. Now plug in the flash drive and go into your boot selection menu. Here you'll need to find your USB flash drive and if you chose UEFI on UniBeast you will need to select the option that has the UEFI prefix. Select that one and press enter. If you had legacy then just choose your USB flash drive. You will now see this new boot selection menu. You may have several options or you may only have one. It depends on your system. Now you'll need to select the option that says external on it. You'll hopefully see the Apple logo and a progress bar. Just give it some time to boot. Once booted you'll need to select your language and click on the arrow. Here do not click continue, you will need to go at the top to the option bar, click on utilities and then click on disk utility. Here select the drive onto which you want to install macOS, again select the non-indented part, then go on erase, rename it to Hackintosh, format is macOS extended journaled and scheme is GUID partition map. Click on erase and wait for the process to be finished. Once finished click on done and you can close disk utility. Now you may click continue on this screen, continue and agree and now you'll need to select the drive that we just formatted. So select the drive named Hackintosh if you name the Hackintosh. Now click continue and the installation will start. Once finished click on reboot and you'll need to boot again into your flash drive the same way that we did before so go into your boot selection menu if you had UEFI on UniBeast, you need to select your flash drive with the UEFI prefix. If you chose legacy mode, just select your flash drive. And now on this screen, you will not need to click on external, but you'll need to find the option that says at the bottom, boot Mac OS 10 from Hackintosh. This is the first boot, so it can take a long time. Just be patient. Once booted, you will need to choose your country and keyboard layout. Now if you want to you can enable location services and I would recommend signing into your Apple ID but you don't have to if you want to, you can always do that later. Now you can set up your computer however you want, uh, the important thing is at the end to disable uh, send diagnostics and usage data. Once finished you will need to go into your USB flash drive and open up MultiBeast. Select quick start and select the same boot mode that you chose in UniBeast. Then go onto drivers. Here you'll need to do your own research to find out exactly what drivers you need for your system because every system is different. The only thing that everyone needs to install is under USB. If you have USB 3 ports on your computer you'll need to install third party USB 3 support. And for everyone, absolutely everyone, you'll need to install increase max port limit. Under customize, if in UniBeast you selected inject ATI or NVIDIA, you will need to do so here as well. If you have integrated graphics, you'll need to select your integrated graphics series. Now go on build, click on install, type in your password, click OK, and wait for the installation to finish. Once finished, restart your computer. Now you'll need to take out your flash drive so you can boot directly from your hard drive. You'll see the same menu but there should be no external option so you need to select boot Mac OS X from Hackintosh again. And once rebooted we will have finished the installation process. Congratulations you've installed Mac OS onto your PC, you now effectively have a Hackintosh. One little tiny thing I would suggest is keep the MultiBeast folder somewhere safe so you always have it in case anything goes wrong. Also you might have noticed that the way Mac OS handles the mouse scrolling wheel is quite different, so it scrolls the opposite way so to fix that go into system preferences, mouse and disable natural scroll. So here we are, we've installed Mac OS onto our computer. It all runs perfectly, at least on my system. If you have any problems, you can refer back to Tony Mac x86. They've got great forums with lots of answers to many questions that you may have. I've personally found a lot of answers on there um, that have helped me solve problems that I've had in the past with other computers. So thanks a lot to Tony Mac x86 for making all of this possible. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with friends that may be interested. Thanks for watching. Bogwan.